Before we get into the video, I need you guys to do me a favour. Number one, like the video. Also comment, let me know your thoughts on the case. On June 8th of 2021, 19-year-old Taylor Cox's family received the worst news imaginable. Their son, brother, nephew had been fatally shot in the head in the alleyway of all places in Hornsey, North London, by rivals, members of NOL. Now Taylor Cox was no angel. However, he did not deserve this. At 19 years of age, Taylor Cox, who was known as Trills, and was part of the gang slash UK group A team who was situated in the N19 postcode, was just trying to live his life, trying to do good, get an education, learn to drive. Now the A team of course had suffered a lot of M's that have been in the media with members like Dirts previously. So to be honest, Taylor Cox should have been more on guard. Now police named 22-year-old Rebel Michael, 22-year-old Jada McGibbon and 22-year-old C. Chem Mangi Tuka Mapello as the GM's responsible. Now during the court proceedings, it was put to the jury that at least one of them, one of the men were equipped with a GUN, loaded chamber and ready to use. They then found out that Trill's real name, Taylor Cox, was nearby with mates. Rebel nor Jaden nor C. Chem tried to talk sense into each other. Instead, they stroked each other's egos and actively encouraged each other to seek out trills. And that's what they did. They located trills, steadied their aim and then fired at least four times from a revolver. 32 caliber cases were found. Now trills, who was also a keen footballer, was transported to hospital in critical condition where he was sadly pronounced dead a short time later. Now Jaden, Seachem and Rebel did their best to pick up the casings. For some reason, Jaden McGiven asked his girlfriend, Dunilla O'Killy, who was from Candom, to look after the evidence. So what she did was, she put them in her bag, kept them there. Four days later, after the 8th of June tragic incident, police arrested Jaden's girlfriend and the casings, as I said, was still found in the bag, a key piece of evidence. Now police then found out that the girlfriend had rented a flat for Jaden to hide out in. She also searched news articles related to the Taylor Cox M. She also paid for him to change his hairstyle, also purchased a new SIM card and also arranged for him to get out of London. Also in court, the jury heard that Taylor Cox was a thoughtful individual who was studying to be a mechanic at college in St Albans, but he was the type of person that would share his pocket money with his little sister. His family did admit that Taylor Cox was part of the A-team and had been stabbed previously due to some form of incident, but again, he was trying to change his life. Now, all three men were arrested. They pled not guilty. However, they did not provide evidence or much of a defence. Now, Jaden was jailed for life with a minimum term of 26 years. The same goes for Seachem. Michael was jailed for life, also with a minimum term of set for 27 years. Condolences to Taylor Cox's friends and family. Stay safe. Safe.